Spud here. Um, just got back from Cabela's. I bought their 15 inch commercial grade vacuum sealer. I'm about to use it for the first time. I'm gonna have you guys kind of go along with me and we'll see how well it does. Um, this is a more relatively expensive uh, unit at about $380. Uh, a couple of the features that I really liked when I was looking at it was the non-stop sealing with no overheating. So if you know on all of our, our cheaper units like this, basically you can do three or four bags and seal them and then it has to cool off and wait for a little bit till you can do again. Um, so I really like the fact that this, you don't have to wait for that. Uh, another big thing that I liked was this double seal bar. So it doesn't do just one strip where it seals it. It actually does two. Um, hopefully that works really well and helps keep the the skipjack and the shad and anything else that you're going to vacuum seal in even better um has a really nice vacuum pressure to it this is the 15 inch model there is a 12 inch model i believe that is 299 um so it's a little bit cheaper uh, i did like the the bigger one a little more though includes uh one roll of the of the film or the sealing bag for it it might be a 25 foot i'm not positive um but it has a lot of i'll go ahead and set this down it has a lot of features to it i know when you close this these lights will come on but you can see uh, there's a dry there's a moist there's a seal only it'll it'll give you the lcd readouts on when when it's ready when it's not ready um canister ports there's lots of different things that's the this here is just the front where it holds the, the uh, bags. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a, I got six skipjacks sitting here ready. I'm gonna go ahead and do a seal on this. Set it down like this. Get a good seal on it. As soon as it clicks in, those two lights will come on. I'm gonna do seal only. So it doesn't do any vacuum and then it goes right to seal it's going to do that for a few and then it'll tell me when it's complete and then i'll show you the double seal that it does it says it's complete lift it up all right so you can see straight across there instead of just one seal it's got two seals on it that's really a big thing that I, that I liked on this unit. I haven't seen too many that do that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick these skipjack in here. See if I can't do it without getting gross hands. try to get a good even bag to it and get it straight across where there's not a lot of creases or anything like that so that back just a little bit all right I'm gonna give this a go and hopefully hopefully we get a good seal and we'll see how well this does click them down I'm gonna do auto vac seal as a moist. It went straight to the seal like really quick after that vacuum. So hopefully, uh, put the heads down I think a lot more of your liquid your blood and stuff if you haven't froze these a little bit before you started this if you do it this way now it says it's complete should be done oh, I'm gonna make sure you lift that all the way up so you can see it actually did pull that liquid all the way up through it probably not as bad as if these heads would have been up at the top part 
because there is more of the liquid in the blood near the heads. So if you ever do this, I would always try to put your, your heads down low, but you can see two seals and it completely sealed all the way across, even with the liquid in there. So, so from what I can tell, that's a really good, crisp, sealed bag. So for the very first use on it, I would definitely say it did a good job. Um, probably just making sure you do a few things that will help it do a good job and you'll, you'll have some good prepared skipjack. Hopefully something like this could last, you know, a year and a year or more. So I don't generally have them for that long, hopefully, but sometimes you do. Well, thank you. Hopefully this helped you. Um, again, Cabela's is where I got this. This unit was about $380. Maybe you can find one on sale or used. Um, but so far, I really like what I see.